This morning, a nation holding out hope. That's the message President Biden shared with Brittany Griner's wife, Sherelle, along with Paul Whelan's sister, Elizabeth, in back-to-back -back private meetings at the White House Friday. The WNBA superstar is currently serving a nine-year sentence in Russia for drug possession, while the former businessman was sentenced to 16 years in prison for spying in 2020, a charge he denies. The White House saying the president appreciated the opportunity to learn more about Brittany and Paul from those who love them most and acknowledged that every minute they are being held is a minute too long. The Biden administration considers both wrongfully detained and has been trying to get them home for months. We are working on it um, every day. And just because we don't say something or you don't see something doesn't mean it's not happening. Offering since July to trade convicted Russian arms dealer Victor Boot in a prisoner swap. We have made a serious offer um, to get Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan back home. The Russians have not responded to that offer. But that doesn't mean that, that there we're not still in negotiations and we're not still trying. But two senior U.S. officials tell NBC News the Kremlin wants an additional Russian prisoner turned over in exchange for the two Americans, seeking an even trade. The diplomatic discussions continue as former Governor Bill Richardson, who has been involved in past detainee negotiations, traveled to Moscow last weekend, but did not coordinate his trip with the U.S. Embassy, according to the State Department. Our concern is that anything other then negotiating further through the established channel uh, is likely to hinder uh, the efforts that we have undertaken uh, to see the release of Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. And overnight, Sherelle Griner released a statement thanking the president for meeting with her and for the administration's efforts to secure Brittany's release, saying she's felt every minute of the grueling seven months without her, and she looks forward to the day her wife is back home safely. Monica, yeah, the family's trying to keep the focus on bringing their loved ones home. Meanwhile, there is also some news on another front about the search at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home and those classified documents taken by the FBI. What do we know about that? That's right. The Justice Department is appealing parts of a Florida judge's decision to appoint a special master to review that classified material recovered from Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. This would allow the FBI to regain access to about 100 of the most sensitive documents, the government arguing they need those to continue a critical national security investigation. And the filing comes one day after that judge appointed another federal judge, Raymond Deary, to serve as the independent reviewer in the case. He's set to hold his first meeting with the Trump team and DOJ on Tuesday. Peter and Kristen. All right, Monica Alba at the White House for us this morning. Monica, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.